Alright, what's going on guys? My name is Wongaho1. Welcome you back to my channel and back to SpongeBob SquarePlants point of the month. I just plants, but I don't care, I'm gonna keep going on. So we'll talk to Marty, the bus driver. Hi Marty! Do I have to say it? Do you have to say what? I told you so. 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 Are you mad at me because of the storm? Yes, I didn't want to leave. I knew the storm was coming, but no. You and your childlike innocence, charming optimism. Feh. I'm sorry, Marty. I'll see what I can do to get this weather problem fixed. Yeah, well, whatever you do, leave me out of it. If the weather clears up, can we go? I, I can't make any promises. Why don't you check with the lady at the information counter? So I'm going to make a rule from now on is that I'm just going to try to only do like the actual story, like chat options, because it's going to take way too much time to do all of the chat stuff. So I'll go talk to the info lady. Excuse me, ma'am. Yes? Can I help you, sir? Is this rock bottom? Yes, you are in rock bottom. My condolences. I'm new to Rock Bottom. Can you tell me anything about it? I'd be happy to I tell already you about said all the cool things our book has to offer. Great, thanks. If you would be so kind as to get me a snack. What am I, a delivery boy? I've been running errands all day. One kelp bar, please. And don't let it get mushy. Anybody else want anything? Please tell me now so I can get it all at once. Who are you talking to, weirdo? So that's the only story one for now. So I I'm going go. to go. I have to find some way to get out of this place. I saw the chat option says a voluptuous time. eye. But you can never leave. My, what a voluptuous eye you have. I've never heard of someone talking about a voluptuous eye. So what we need to do. First, let's walk down the road and do this. I already recorded this once and I realized the recording didn't work. So this is attempt number two. So we need that quarter for something. And I'll walk to the bus stop first also. And we'll talk to this man. Hi. Say, don't I know you? Uh, no. Definitely not. I've never seen you before in my life. You're pretty, um, distinctive looking. I think I'd remember you. Hmm. Oh well, you look familiar, but maybe my eyes are just playing tricks on me. Yeah, that's probably it, SpongeBob. Say, if you've never seen me before, how did you know my name? Er, um... You just, uh, you look like a Spongebob, that's all. Quit badgering me. Okay, okay. Quit badgering Sorry. me. Nice can. Nice can. Yep, Kelpsy. Great stuff. And the cans are very aerodynamic. Good for kicking. Can I have it? If I let you have this can, what would I do to pass the time waiting for the bus? You could talk to me. Look, no offense, little guy, but I'd rather watch paint dry. There's paint drying? Where? Where? I want to see! Oh boy. Well, gotta run. So hey, we're just gonna continue gonna on. Keep an eye out for that bus. All I gotta do is just grab the L can. Don't actually have to talk to him, but I figured I might as well. There I do that right after saying, Oh yeah, I'm gonna try to do only the chat options that actually advance the story, and then that's exactly what I didn't do. But he is <coughs> Jeez, sorry. He is actually yeah. a mildly important character. You'll see. So it actually is good to talk to him. Oh, info desk lady. I'm coming for you. Hello there, miss. I see you. Yeah. Here's your kelp bar, lady. Mmm, kelp. Thank you. 
All right, so what do you want to know? What's there to see here? Not much. There's our weather station, WSEA. My sister works there. They have daily tours. You might want to take one. Oh, a weather station. Just what I need. Maybe they can tell me when this storm's gonna clear up. It's just down the street. Knock yourself out. Thanks, hey, lady. Bye. Let's go to WSEA. Now, basically, you're, if you go in there, all she's gonna say is like, "Oh, hey, you need tools," because you know we call a repairman, and that repairman isn't you. So what you need to do is go around back. Ah, look at the little Patrick. He is busy showing the mermaid man who can drink more cola. Life can be so wonderful, no? Life can be so wonderful, no? Yeah, so this is the repairman that she was talking about. I didn't really hear her talk about it, but yeah, that's basically all it is. Hi, what you doing? Oh, hey there, little dude. Dude. Look hard. Yeah, well, you don't even know half of it. What makes this job really hard is that this antenna, it ain't even broken. Why would you fix something that isn't broken? I don't get it. Huh, neither do I. All I know is, those big wigs in the TV station say this thing ain't working right, and it's my job to get it up on the curb again. And I say, whoa, there ain't nothing wrong with that antenna, dudes. And they say, yes, there is. And I say, no, there ain't. And they say, yes, there is. So now I'm stuck out here until I fix a perfectly good antenna. Bummer, man. Really flat day. Are those your tools? Is anything mine? I mean, what do you mean by mine? I don't own anything. Possessions just drag you down. Those tools are merely my temporary companions. I respect them, and they respect me. Oh, okay. Then can I respectfully borrow them? Jeez, I don't know, kid. The thought ain't sitting too well with me right now. Maybe because I'm so parched. I tell you what, bring me a Kelpsy and you can borrow my tools for a few. How's that, little dude? Copacetic? What does copacetic mean? A Kelpsy, huh? Where can I get one of those? Try the rusty anchor. That's where I usually go after work. Okay, thanks. And yeah, that's oh, all the actual well, story stuff. Go. Okay, later, dude. Yeah, I was saying, if you go inside the WSEA, there's just like some receptionist there. It's like, yeah, you can't be in here because you're not cool enough. You're not part of the news station. So let's go talk to Mermaid Man. Hi, Mermaid Man. You don't look so good. Who did this to you? A great pink beast. He had eyes of fire. In the belly of iron! <sighs> Sounds like someone I know. Well, part of it does anyway. Iron, I tell you! Iron! I hear you. Mommy, Daddy, I want my whoopee. <sighs> He's Mermaid messed man, up. Are you gonna be okay? Blurring. Guy turning yellow? Uh, that's just me. To the bathroom! Wow, he's in bad shape. I wonder who could have done this to him. I've gotta go, but don't worry. I'm gonna get help. Easy, easy. Give me your answer, too. And you don't actually really need to talk to Barnacle Boy, I don't think, so... We're gonna continue on inside. No, we'll talk to him. Hello, big guy. Hello, little guy. Hey, little guy. I like this guy's voice. It's a nice place you have here. It's real, uh, rustic. Yes, I seem to have a real knack for feng shui. Mm. Well, feng I can't shui. Eat it gives me a stomach ache. Thanks anyway. It's so, well, such a bad man, thing to say. Anyway, it's, it's a sponge eating fish. That could really tie a place together. It's a good thing. Why would he serve fish first off? One tall frosty mug of kelpsy, please. Sorry, ain't got no kelpsy left. 
We all tapped out on account of a cola drinking contest these two guys had in here a little while ago. They polished off the whole kit. All we got left is diet, caffeine-free coral cola with a lemon twist. Yeah. Well then, I guess that's gonna have to do. That'd be a doubt. You got a dollar? Oh god. But I know where there's a whole shots fired. Sorry, kid, that don't fly in here. Pay up or pack up. That's our motto. Excuse me, sir. Can you tell me more about that cola drinking contest you had in here? Yeah, sure. They was playing Belcherama. The players each drink as much cola as they can. Then they see who can out burp each other. The guy in here earlier was flat out the best burper I have ever seen. That mermaid fella didn't stand a chance. Wow. He was that good, huh? It was beautiful. I took a picture. It's up on the wall over by the bathroom. That guy's welcome in my place anytime. Even if he is a little slow. And pink. Pink, huh? Mm -hmm. I gotta go. I'll see you later. Okay, turns you out you'd have to talk to Barnacle Boy. Whoops. That guy must have a brave dentist. Okay, let's go talk to Barnacle Boy. I didn't think you did, but oh well. Let's go back. Barnacle Boy, it's me, SpongeBob SquarePants. Oh, it's you. Look, uh, we're a little busy here. Uh, Mermaid Man bit off a little more than he could chew. Again. What happened? Maybe I could help. Oh, yeah. I have every confidence in your ability to take a bad situation and make it even worse. How sweet of you to say. Thank you. Come on, I know I can help. Just tell me what's wrong, please. All right, all right. It seems that Mermaid Man here can't hold his call. Whoopsie, Where I didn't mean to hit skip that. Right behind him. I tried to lift him into it, but uh, it seems I... Tough cut date. Maybe I can have to get things. Mermaid Man into the Popo Beal. He's moving around. Oh, little guy. It'll take a lot more than our scrawny arms to get someone of his girth off the ground. Gotta go. I'll be back. I'll be holding my breath. I am underwater after all. It's basically, you know, a little too much cola. A little too much carbonated beverage, if you will. Kind of done did messed him up. Hey yo, Hi, Big Mac. Hey. Good to see you again, fella. Do you work at McDonald's? There you go. Sir, my friend Mermaid Man is in the parking lot outside, and he could sure use your help getting into his boatmobile. He's not feeling well from drinking all that healthy. Ah, I better help him out. I don't want him scan off my customers. Hey, can you watch the bar for a few minutes? Sure, I'm a trained professional. Head cook at the Krusty Krab. Great. I'll be back. <laughs> I always want to say that. Uh, since you helping me out, feel free to help yourself to as much of that diet cola as you like. It doesn't sell very well anyway. There's your daily Terminator reference. We'll walk to the pictures and pick up a mug. You can also see Plankton and Rayman and... Patrick and some other wasted fish. And now we go do this. And then we do this. And you can use that in a little bit. He comes back. And we go back to WSEA. And we give our friendo the colo. Here you go, my friend. Jojo, the TV repairman. Here you go, mister. One, two, Kelsey. All right. Whoa, that was the best Kelsey I ever had. Thanks, SpongeBob. So, now can I borrow your tools? Sure, no problemo. Just remember to treat them with respect. After all, they're people too. Okay. So the kind of funny thing is, if you just give him the mug, he complains that it tastes bad. How do you get to the end? Huh. Oh yeah, just walk around back. Cool beans, now you're right there. Now, if I just pull out the toolbox... Okay, I didn't mean to do that. Stop. Just stand right there. Toolbox. There you go. Short Tiffany be like, yo, we legit. Toolbox, I might be able to 
path as Jojo. Cowabunga, ma'am. I'm like totally finito with the antenna. Great! It's about time. Go settle up with Gary. He's upstairs in the newsroom. Cool. Later, Judith. So what you need to do actually first is go to the on-air room. And head inside. And who might that be? Hi, Plankton. What are you doing here? I'm trying to film a commercial for the Chum Bucket. I rode all the way out to this hole in the wall, and these louts can't even find the Hole in the wall. Oh, let's see. Ah, that's too bad. I offer to help out, but I don't know if Mr. Krabs would approve of me aiding the competition. Did I say commercial? Um, I meant public service. Man, my chair is squeaking. Yes, I'm filming a public service announcement. Kids stay in school and all that. For the children. Oh, for the children. Well, why don't you say? Are you putting me on? Absolutely not. I'm trying to get the kiddies to see the value of a college education. It's my duty as a role model. And on top of that, I'll throw in a little extra something special for you too, my boy. Mm -hmm. My boy. Little extra something special. Okay, you got a deal. What do I have to do? It's easy. I just need you to go in the next room and find the camera controls. Then just point the camera at me and start recording. I'll do the rest. Sounds easy enough. Okay, Plankton, I'm on it. Anything for the children. Yes, the children. <laughs> Poor Sam. What was that? Uh, more tap. Yes, more tap. It's a lost art tap dancing. We need to see more of it immediately. You know, I think you're right. Okay. And that's all we have for actual story uh, stuff wait. on him. Don't you want to see my diploma? I'll see you some other time. Thanks. Bye. So we'll exit the broadcast room and go to the camera controls. And that. Right down the center. The camera is focused right on him. Okay, Plankton. Action! Hi, this is Plankton, owner of the Chum Bucket and all-around swell guy. A lot of you may have noticed the Chum Bucket's rather numerous appearances on TV news programs recently. Not to mention the various headlines we've made in most local newspapers during the past few weeks. Well, I come to you tonight to set things straight once and for all. I'm innocent! I would never dream of doing the things those bottom-feeding reporters accuse me of. Those pictures were clearly faked. Rest assured that the Chum Bucket uses only the freshest ingredients. That is all. Eat at the Chum Bucket. Thank you, and good evening. And now let's go inside. So a little something special is... Hey, Plankton, that didn't sound like a public service announcement. Subtext! I was practically begging the children to stay in school! Well, if I didn't notice it, then probably most children won't either. Whose fault is that? Certainly not mine! I'm making public service announcements! Oh, and by the way, here's that little something extra. Ooh, we'll look at that another time. My leave, I'd like to stick around and jabber, but lo, the day wears on and the chum bucket needs me. Okay, bye, Plankton. See you around. And let's go out there. Let's go up top to meet ourselves a new friend. Why is there, like, a finger in that guy's eye. It's Gary Gulper. Oh man, GG. Good game. Wow. Aren't you Gary Gulper, the weatherman? Why, yes I am. Aren't you lucky? Well, yeah. And that's not all. Really? Really. In addition to the pleasure of meeting me, I happen to be in an autograph signing mood. Will your luck never end? Oh, I hope not. But, uh, I didn't want an autograph. I wanted to ask you something. What? No autograph? Oh, well, you must already have several. What did you want to talk to me about? Uh, maybe this. Can you tell me when this weather is going to clear up? 
I need to get out of this place as soon as possible. Wow, this really is your lucky day. Here at WSEA, we have just finished building a weather controlling thingamajig. Once we unveil it, the weather will always be clear in rock bottom. Ooh. Indeed. Think of the increased tourism and the increased fame for yours truly. Not that I am not famous already, but then <laughs> you can never be too famous. I'm not sure I understand. If you built a device that controls the weather, well then what does the station need you for? Well, uh, not really story, uh, but I just learned, really like it. You see, uh, uh oh. Why is there a guy out back working on the antenna? Ugh, don't get me started. The Mega Screen 2000 has been acting up lately. It maps the weather around rock bottom with amazing accuracy, and yet. In the past few weeks, it's been giving us some very strange readings. It shows a zone of perfect weather that never changes. Never a drop of rain falls there. This is obviously impossible. It has to be broken. Are you sure it's broken? No. In fact, the repairman out there claims there's nothing wrong with any of our equipment. But what else could it be? Maybe it really is a perfect weather zone. Please. No, really? Can you show me where it is? It's up on the Mega Screen 2000. Take a look. It won't do you any good. It's just a glitch. I'm gonna check it out anyway, but thanks. Alright. I'm gonna move on from I that. Go. It was nice meeting you. Yes, it was, wasn't it? Move on to the Mega Screen 2000. Oh, so you actually can go out that door. Uh. Ah, cool beans. Wow, the weather really is clear here. Something. Something's up. Oh no. Now oh, here's one of my favorite parts. The giant freaking candle. I got just this freaking giant freaking candle. I have to test your luck in the robot rampage. Oh, well, that was fast. So right down left. It's actually a different kill than it was last time. Cool beans. I'll move back. So right. Down. Left. Wow, this looks there like a kind of wizard lair. You're a wizard, Harry. Hey, what I'm curious as to how Patrick beat us here, honestly. I don't know. Are you Marlin the Wizard? Oops. Huh? I mean to skip the first time. Why would I ask you if you were oh, Marlin? Because, my dear Marlin, it would be an excellent tactic to confuse me. Very clever, that. But I'm not Marlin! You are! Aha, uh -huh, so you are not Marlin. Well, I must admit, that does increase the odds of me being Marlin. What about that large pink boy sleeping in my hammock? Is he Marlin? No, that's my friend, Patrick. Well, if one of us must be Marlin, I guess it might as well be me. I can't say I'm too happy about it, though. Marlin's a grouch. Why are you grouchy? Two words. Gary Gulper. That's odd. He seems like such a genuine guy. Don't let him fool you. He's the character behind that insidious weather-controlling thingamajig. Weather controlling Hoochamawajit? It's a device that controls the weather. Uh, sounds cool. No, controlling the weather is my job. But those meddlers are in for a surprise. I magically sealed the vault door to the device. Now they can't even get to it. That'll teach them. Do you have anything to do with all this bad weather around here? Absolutely. I still reign over the rain. 
at least for the time being. So why are you clouding up rock bottom? To teach Gary Gulper a lesson. He's trying to steal my job. How? By building that weather controlling thingamajig. Controlling the weather is my domain. I'm not giving it up without a fight. But I need to get out no. of here. And the buses won't run until the weather clears up. Well, the weather won't clear up until that weather controlling device is destroyed. Maybe I can help you. Anything to get the weather back to normal here. Would you really help me? No, of course. No problem. I'll tell you what. I'll give you a magic wand that will let you into the weather control vault in WSEA. You go in there and sabotage the machine, and then I'll clear the weather right up. Piece of cake! I'd go myself, but that secretary won't even let me in the lobby anymore. But how do I sabotage the machine? Something about you tells me you're pretty good at breaking things. I'm sure you'll figure it out. Right! So, so where is it? Magic wand. Oh, here you go. Don't lose it. It's very valuable. Okay, thanks, Marlin. No, thank you. You've saved me from the unemployment line. Oh, jeez. I'll hail the magic wand. There's a reference for a SpongeBob fan out there. Now, let's see. Take the wand, become a wizard, Harry, and go to the control room. Abracadabra, Alakazur, my name is SpongeBob. Now open, open that, that door. door. And with one last click, let's oh, enter the cutscene. Same. Everyone's tried to pull a push door. Well, anyway, I guess next time we will continue on to chapter 3. So, as always, leave a like about the video, comment with anything you have to say, and subscribe if you want to see more. My name is Wungaho1, and I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching.